We are here outside Trader Joe's and I'm actually pretty excited because I haven't been here in like over a year and I was actually planning on doing all of these shopping hauls before you know what happened. Uh, so we're going to do a trip, go inside, see what I deem as healthy, you know, with my base diet lately of lean meats, organic grains, organic fruits, maybe some snacks here and there. Worst case scenario, if we do get thrown out, instead of like a shopping trip, we'll just do a grocery haul when I get home. The only downside of that is, you know, maybe there's some things I can show you here that I wouldn't normally buy, but we'll see. This guy's fucking dying next to me. Almost forgot to mention, I do have my Wi-Fi shielding t-shirt and underwear on. Uh, we got the masks to go in the store with. And I didn't bring a hat or a hood today, but you know, considering there's a five grams antenna on the building across the street, we're getting cooked and I won't get a headache as quickly with this stuff on. So I don't usually go for the high water vegetables, but they do have some organic stuff. Plastic, not really that great. So I'll kind of skip most of the vegetables and stuff. They do have organic mushrooms at a decent price, but I already have some at home. Otherwise, I would probably get these. Organic peeled and cooked chestnuts. Chestnuts actually have a decent omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. So you could pick these up and try them, but I know for a fact that chestnuts don't really taste that great. Vegetables, not stuff we usually get. Sliced apples if you're a little lazy. So they do have some organic potatoes and I have been having uh, potatoes for carbs recently, so we can get some of these. Red potatoes too. Organic kiwi, that's not bad. Organic avocados, not horrible. Some other organic vegetables. The tomatoes look decent too. Again, a lot of the produce is pretty expensive this time of year. So the organic apples are actually pretty cheap per pound. At least some of them are. I'll get some Fuji apples. I don't think the citrus is organic. I usually do pick up some organic lemons for some vitamin C, but not today. Some exotic fruit, non-organic fruits, non-organic fruits and stuff. Not really anything we want. A lot of agrochemicals, potential herbicides and pesticides on them. Oh, those look pretty cool. Not organic, but I think those are the Japanese sweet potatoes. Got some purple ones too. Some more non-organic citrus. Nothing we want. This is just more conventional produce. So we do have some organic onions and I have been cooking with them lately, so I'll grab a bag. And this is like $2.99 for two pounds, which is actually pretty expensive. Now they have those cotton candy grapes, but usually these are organic, those aren't. Some non-organic berries, some organic berries, but 349 isn't that bad. Usually these are twice as much. Some more non-organic fruit. Now these are organic, but like, do you want to spend $5 for this much pomegranate? That's like a handful of pomegranate seeds. They got regular milk, regular dairy. Looks like they're sold out of grass-fed milk and a lot of other stuff. Oh, well, they do have organic milk. The problem with organic milk is they add vitamin A and vitamin D to it, which is kind of toxic to be honest. So you definitely don't want to be drinking this stuff even if it's organic. So they got some generic eggs here. It says pasture raised, but again, that just means they have some outdoor access. So honestly, I wouldn't really trust any of the eggs here. And especially if they're charging $4 a pound, you know they're not actually pasture raised. Kerrygold, it's not bad, not great. They have some organic butter over there, which is probably a better option. Yeah, so Trader Joe's has their own organic butter brand. So it's not that bad. They do have a lot of organic dairy, which is surprising. Most places don't. This actually looks pretty decent. If only it was a uh, whole fat yogurt. You know, a lot of these yogurts are low fat made from skim milk. European style plain yogurt. Yeah, I mean, these are pretty good. And they're kind of cheap too, especially compared to Whole Foods. You pay almost twice as much in Whole Foods. This is okay, you know, if they add vitamin D3, that's not that horrible. You just want to make sure they're not adding vitamin A to it. So it could be worse. It could definitely be worse. So that's not that bad. That's organic, 
some of it's full fat. It's definitely better than most of the other options you see in the supermarket. But they don't really appear to have any like cream or other dairy options outside of the yogurt and butter that are decent. I see some like kefir, some juices, some drinks here. Nothing organic, which is kind of the first requirement to buy something. So we got some low quality conventional pork meats here. Low quality cheeses, charcuterie, nothing to really look at. Your typical protein bar selection. Definitely check out the best bars on Frankie's free range meat. I mean, I'm surprised they don't make more organic bars in general. I do like cookie dough though. They make it really hard to read the ingredients on these. Z bar, organic. 79 cents for 1.27 ounces. So this is actually a decent price and it's organic. This is actually not bad. Someone knows what they're doing with this bar. All right, it's, it's, it's not the best, but I'll actually take a few of these as a snack on the way home. I didn't see these in Whole Foods, but these are actually pretty good. See, it, it doesn't have any conventional dairy. It's organic. There's nothing too glaring in it in too large of amounts, so Z-Bar is not bad. Uh, per calorie, they're actually about the same price as the Best Bar, but definitely not as good ingredients or macronutrient profile. These don't really have any protein. A bunch of plant-based bars. I'm basically looking to see if it's organic. If it's organic, I'll take a look at the ingredients. But all of them have so many flavor combinations that you don't really want to see stuff like this. Omega-6, brown rice syrup, plant proteins, even if it's organic. Lemon zest bars. These are a lot cheaper than Whole Foods though. You know, Whole Foods is uh, two, three dollars per bar. These are a dollar eighty cents. So way better pricing. This is my other grip. They never have plain flavors. Like where's the generic chocolate, vanilla, something simple. It's always seven different flavors. Cat food. And honestly, the pet food is probably healthier than a lot of the stuff here. Most of the water's in plastic. I don't see anything in glass. Oh, they got the Gerolsteiner, which isn't bad for 169 a bottle. Nothing else in glass though. None of these are organic really. Oh, well one of them is, but pasteurized juice. That's some organic olive oils, but I'm not that much of a fan of olive oil. They do sell clarified butter, but again, it's not organic. If the product is not organic, there's too many chemical concerns in it. So I guess you could get some organic olive oil if you don't have any better choices. We did do a video on olive oil maybe a year ago. I think they're out of coconut oil. I was gonna say if they have regular coconut oil, I might get some, but I don't see any. Some canned fish. I think we have to canned fish in a past grocery haul. Organic coconut cream, which I do use to make cookies, but I usually use the milk instead. There's a lot of grains, a lot of pasta. Some of it's organic. It's actually a lot cheaper than Whole Foods too. Wild rice, not a bad choice. I don't really like the taste that much, but it's definitely healthy. I don't know when the last time I had quinoa is. They do have some organic rice. This is 449. I already have some of this at home, so I don't really need it. Maple syrup, not a bad sweetener choice. Organic, completely cacao chips. I could put these in my cookie. They're unsweetened though, so they're probably way too bitter. I do like how they put they put the organic stuff in green so you can tell versus the the blue. Organic dill pickle spears. What's in these? I mean this isn't horrible. Besides the calcium chloride and turmeric. Otherwise I might actually get these. But you know again, most of this stuff is not organic. It rules a lot of it out. And then have as additives, it's already ruled out anyway. I mean, having canned beans once in a while isn't the end of the world, but definitely concerns about the can lining. And we got a bunch of baking mixes and non-organic stuff. Could check out the broth if it's any good. Organic beef broth. Man, look at all those ingredients. Soybean oil, da da da. So this is why you always want to check even it looks good. Too many additives. Probably the same with the rest of their broths. Well, they do have the name brand stuff, so they can you know, sell organic beef broth for half the price of other companies. 
usually you spend three, four dollars for something like this. But they do have like seed oils in it and stuff you don't want. It seems way too easy to get an organic label now. There's too many ingredients, additives, chlorides, sulfates. At this point, I'm just looking for organic stuff. What's this? Organic syrup. My sister would probably like this if she drank milk. I mean, this isn't the worst, this isn't the best. At least it's organic. Bunch of organic preserves. You know, they, they get the organic label on these, they get their name brand, but then it's got 15 additives in it. Creamy peanut butter, salted. So this is actually pretty good because usually what they'll do with organic peanut butter is they'll add like palm oil or stuff you don't want in it. So we'll take some of this actually. Yeah, we'll take this. I've never seen this before. Peanut powder with salt. Defatted peanuts. Man, I guess you don't get all the omega-6. Cacao powder, never a bad thing, but I got plenty of that at home. So it's good that it's unbleached, but it's not organic flour. Some spices here and there, some are organic, some are not. You know, so I, I don't usually get that much meat at the supermarket because of Frankie's free range meat, obviously. Even if the chicken's organic, it's usually corn and soy fed. Uh, you know, we spoke about how poisonous fish is the other week, even if it's wild caught. So that doesn't really give us any options besides beef. And we might actually pick up some beef because I don't have anything thought out at home. So this isn't bad. It's it's organic 85.15 for six dollars a pound on sale so it's not bad but the rest of the beef looks to be conventional i'm not going to really gamble on that Sorry. so yeah it's just conventional meat oh we got some steaks here this is 79 well it's 7.99 for six ounces so that's not that great conventional pork too yeah, and this is this is 14 dollars for a 10 ounce ribeye which isn't horrible, but you definitely get better pricing. I mean, you know, the grass-fed organic, $13.99 for 10 ounces, so you probably pay about 20 bucks a pound, so it's pretty bad, but I'm curious what their name brand is to like. Now, this isn't organic, but fresh boneless lamb leg, $9 per pound is not horrible. It's red meat, it's not high omega-6. It's from New Zealand, so usually they have it grass-fed. So, you know, there's a few options here that are reasonably affordable. Most of the stuff is like, you know, it's like conventional. You don't really want it. You know, again, we're gonna have to rule out a lot of this stuff just because it's not organic. You know, if you go through the store, there's plenty of things to look at, but organic, not so much. So they got organic rice already cooked. Three, <laughs> I'm so lazy. I bought my rice cooker, but it had fluoride on the lining. So I'm still using this stuff. All right, we'll, we'll just get one box of each. So that's actually really affordable. It's it's like half the price of Whole Foods, three seventy nine for like three almost one pound pouches. So we'll get the jasmine rice, and then I'll get one of these too. The main concern about these is even if it's organic, you know, what kind of water did they use to make it? I mean, I haven't had quinoa, and I don't know if I've ever had quinoa in my life. Organic quinoa, fully cooked. You know what, we'll give one to the vegans today. We'll pick up a quinoa. The vegans win today. A lot of stuff, a lot of mixed stuff. Again, you know, I guess the average consumer just wants something really cheap and affordable. That's around three or four dollars. That's not organic. They don't care about that. A lot of cookies, a lot of stuff. I don't see any organic labels. I mean, there's some organic vegetables if you want to have them once in a while. If you like the flavor organic I mean yeah there's a whole bunch of crap here anything you want pastry bagel pizza bites mozzarella sticks Greek spinach pie chicken pot pie mac and cheese it's a lot of stuff organic chicken wings organic chicken breasts I mean again we said the corn and soy stuff from earlier but overall most of the stuff is not organic a lot of ice cream See, one is labeled organic, but I don't see which one it is. Oh, here. Yeah, I don't know why they put soybean oil in this stuff. Doesn't make any sense. You're like, you see an organic label, you're like, oh, this might be pretty good, but it's not. Man, Whole Foods is uh, Whole Foods is definitely more organic stuff. 
looks like this whole section is no organic items at all. I see a couple on the other side though. Yeah, I mean, like almost all this stuff is not organic. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this stuff they're sold out of. This is organic, but I mean, you know, so many ingredients. This actually doesn't look that bad. No, it's not that bad. The only red flag is sunflower oil. Not horrible. I'll get my sister this. I usually make the pizza myself, but dude, 449 for a pizza is not bad, especially 820 calories. I don't even care about the ingredients that much. Yeah, this isn't bad. I'll get my sister two of these. I have a limit. Three of the three cheese pieces. Two more organic pizzas. Yeah, just some more organic like pizza stuff. Uh, mozzarella piccolo, family size. Not bad options for organic pizza. It's like there's a bunch of prepared foods over here. There's some minestrone soup and some verde soup. Well, my dad will probably like this. Oh man, you probably dropped dead before you could read that whole ingredient list. It appears to be mostly seasonings though, so I'll get my dad this and see if he likes it. Vegetables, cannellini beans, very classic Italian. I do like it though, you could just look for that green organic label and then, you know, if you only buy organic stuff, then you can just pick it up. Otherwise, you know, you're sorting through everything to look for the organic label. Oh yeah, that's not an organic label we're looking for, a bunch of tofu, plant-based stuff. Hummus, you know, sometimes it's not that bad. Garbanzo beans, avocado pulp, tahini, I mean, the omega-6 is probably a little high, but since the overall fat content isn't too crazy, it might not be under the world. What about the regular organic hummus? Chickpeas, water, tea, blend of oil, sunflower oil, virgin olive oil. This is probably a little bit high in omega-6. That's the main concern. It's probably mostly omega-6 because it's got sunflower oil in it. Oh, but I'm sure this is actually pretty good. Maybe I'll, uh, if I didn't already have some hummus at home, I would probably grab it. That's only 2 dollars too. Usually double the price at Whole Foods. All right, this is actually interesting because usually the deli meats are, are usually twice as much as this. I think Applegate Farms sells uh, like organic roast beef, organic turkey breast. It's usually eight or nine dollars for this size. So this isn't bad. And there's not really many options in the supermarket or delis for organic deli meats. But, you know, again, this is still corn and soy bread. It's chicken and turkey, but it's better than the other options. Just have once in a while. But yeah, you know, a lot of, lot of conventional stuff, a lot of non-organic stuff. But, you know, I don't know why they don't just go organic on more of this. Something like this organic Italian four cheese tortellini. I mean, my sister would love this for dinner once in a while. You know, there's a couple ingredients on here that aren't that great, but overall it's pretty good. Bunch of cheeses. Again, you usually just want some like high quality imported raw cheese. New Zealand organic cheddar slices. I mean, if you're gonna go to the supermarket and buy something, this is probably <laughs> your best option. It's organic, it's from New Zealand, so you know it's grass fed. It's probably pasteurized, but this is, this is as good of a cheese as you'll get. But you know, $5 for eight ounces, you can get better raw cheese for sure at that price. Oh, and this is their actual raw cheese selection. So they probably got some decent stuff here, but again, you have to kind of, you know, look at the ingredient list, you know, it says pasteurized, see if it's raw, assume based on the country, if it's grass fed or not. But they do have a lot of cheese here. And they got cashew nonsense cheese too. Low moisture stuff, organic if you want to make a pizza. That's not bad. A lot of cheese actually. And the prices look pretty good too. Like this is actually really good. Organic New Zealand cheddar, $7.99 per pound. I don't know how they can afford to sell organic cheddar cheese from New Zealand for $4 for half a pound, but that's actually really good. Unfortunately, it is not raw, so. You're missing out on the benefits of raw cheese. Yeah, and the raw milk is substantially more. And it's probably not grass fed, so you can get a raw milk cheddar. But, you know, this is just regular conventional cow's milk and conventional stuff. And something that is higher quality, like a goat milk cheddar, $11 per pound. I mean, like, this is something my mom would like, like organic feta. So it is nice when they have organic options for stuff that people normally buy, non organic. I'll get this for my sister. She loves the organic string cheese. Five dollars for nine ounces, though. Uh, these tend to be expensive in general. 
and it's fine. So there's some organic like cereals and granolas here. Again, it's you know it's heated grains. Who knows how long they've been sitting around for? Seed oils and and overarching, when you look at like an organic cereal, the more grains, the more problems can arise. You know, what was the storage condition of each of those grains? You definitely don't want something like mixed cough rolls in there. So overall, even if these cereals are organic, they're not something you should have more than like once a week. Raisins, seeds, nuts, some organic figs down there. Looks like they're out. I mean, organic dried figs are actually something my mom eats a lot. I already bought her some, but this is only $2.99 for 10 ounces. So I'll actually get some of these. That's not bad. Just source of calories, sugar. Some people have problem with the oxalates and figs though. So for nuts, I usually look for macadamia nuts, which I don't see today, let alone organic. I mean, something like coconut is usually never that bad because it's saturated fat, it's not omega-6. You know, some teas, not usually stuff I get. Uh, so they do have quite a few nuts over here. Uh, they got some organic almonds down there. Last few times I was here, they did have macadamia nuts. I don't remember if they were organic though. Yeah, they're just dry roasted. And macadamia nuts are always really expensive and then organic gets super duper expensive. I'm not surprised that they don't have organic. I mean, with any nut or seed, you want to kind of look up if it's high omega-6. Macadamia nuts, to my knowledge, are usually one of the only safe ones. But again, if you're having a small amount, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, you can get organic tortillas pretty much anywhere now. Those look kind of cute. That ingredient list is not cute though. Preservatives, additives, seed oils, not stuff you want. The breads really have to be organic because you know they spray the grains with so many chemicals now. I don't think any of this stuff's organic really. And here's some French rolls. I'm actually, I'm actually surprised. Man, what is that? That looks like there's mold on it. Was that pumpkin seed? Okay, so you know they have something nice that I haven't had in a while, like rolls, but. If you use enriched fortified flour with iron filings in it, you get really sick. See that reduced iron on there? Not what you want. I don't know why they put that crap in there. This looks decent if it's fortified flour. Organic wheat flour, organic cane sugar. There is soybean oil seed oil in here, but this is much, much healthier than your average white bread. I mean, it's a lot fresher too. It smells pretty fresh. So. Organic soft white bread, not that bad. You don't need bread though. Some organic Ezekiel bread. Usually it's too many ingredients and that stuff tastes like crap, so who wants to eat it anyway? Bunch of sweets over here, beer. They do have organic potato chips. Organic kettle style potato chips. That's not that bad. Okay, it kind of is. You don't definitely don't want palm oil and sunflower oil in it. You know, it's tough. I don't know why they don't just use coconut oil or something. I mean, we're basically looking at everything organic and hoping there's no seed oils in it, but pretty much all this stuff is going to have seed oils in it. Yeah. We do have jerky here. This might not actually be that bad. It's $6 for three ounces. I mean, jerky is never affordable. Organic beef, cane juice, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar. Hey, it's not horrible, you know, if you want to pick a couple of these up for a snack. Maybe I'll grab one of these for a ride home. Again, you know, it's, it's not the best, but it's not horrible. You know, it is organic. It is beef, so they're not, probably not feeding it that much corn and soy. I mean, I think we've looked at everything in the store. We got some figs. We got some cheese for my sister. We got some organic peanut butter. Maybe I'll have these steaks later, some onions, a jerky we'll have in the car with those Z bars that we'll have in the car. My dad some minestrone soup, some potatoes for starch for our meals. Uh, some Fuji apples that I like, some pizza for my sister, uh, some carbs, some rice and quinoa for myself. But that's really it, you know, not horrible. Um, the stuff that we wanted, like the steaks and the jerky, you know, not really that cheap, pretty expensive, but you know, there's some decent stuff here. All right, a couple of notes. One, let me get this dumb mask off my face. Two, I could feel my brain getting fried. I don't know if it was all of the cell phones in there or if it is because these towers across the street are pointed at the Trader Joe's. I mean, honestly, 
I'm pretty impressed with their selection. You know, they might not have like all the organic produce you want, all the organic meat you want, all the best organic cheese you want, but they do have things that a lot of other stores don't have at very, very, very affordable prices. I was pleasantly surprised at that. So, you know, I think Trader Joe's is kind of like a place you want to stop by like once or twice a month and just check out what they have because there is some stuff that'll surprise you. Now, you know, there isn't anything that's the best here. Uh, I wouldn't say there's anything that's the worst here either. And you probably don't want to go out of your way to get any of this stuff. But, you know, if you do want to, you know, do your grocery shop, I mean, you know, I actually can't say that. I think like this organic rice that's pre-cooked and a couple of things I picked up here, you can't get at other places, especially at that price. Uh, I'm going to put this Wi-Fi shielding hood on my head as soon as I get in my car because my, my head is, my head is honestly starting to hurt. So you guys don't care about looking like a crazy person. You can definitely get your hands on one of these and you'll be good to go. This fucking guy's looking at me like I'm nuts. I'm assuming you probably want me to try these Z-bars and the jerky, but... You know, fine, we will. Hold on. I mean, hey, good news is we didn't get kicked out, which I was very surprised at because I was basically walking around the store for 40 minutes. Kind of nervous because, like, I don't know if the employees were just, like, frantic and busy. Same with the people in the store. But, like, people kept, like, running up to me and looking at me and looking at me funny for about 40 minutes straight. But, hey, oh well. So, organic beef jerky... It's not the best, but honestly, it's not really that bad. The only concern here is the organic soy sauce, but soy sauce is fermented, so it usually reduces the anti-nutrient content substantially. It smells like typical beef jerky. It's okay. I mean, they add a natural smoke flavoring, so probably poisoning yourself a little bit with this stuff. I know, 33 grams of protein for a container, though, so for six bucks for your protein for one meal on the go, this is about as cheap as you're going to get, and as good as you're going to get. I mean, hopefully we get jerky back on Frankie's Range meat soon enough. Honestly, the people in there, it's like a zoo. Like, I don't know why you'd ever want to go shopping here. Like, if it wasn't such a zoo and the people weren't so rude, maybe. So I forgot to pick up some best bars from Frankie's Range meat, so I bought some of these. The ingredient list isn't that great, but it doesn't have anything horrible in it. Let's see if it tastes good. Smells good. Looks pretty good. It looks better than it tastes. It's not bad though. For caloric energy. The only reason this tastes okay is because there's fig paste in it. And I like dried figs. I mean, overall, I can see myself coming back here a few times for my family, especially with like the cheap frozen pizzas that are organic. Uh, but not really for myself. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Definitely let me know how you like this. And uh, leave me a comment down below if you can share the video. And uh, if you want to see more shopping hauls, definitely let me know. Uh, maybe we could do all these Walmart, some other places. Mm -hmm.